Today, a very special cargo is moved in the yard. It's time to lift the bow pieces in place. One of the upper decks contains Captain Bill Wright's future workplace. Lifted in place, the two parts make up one of the widest bridges ever built. The staterooms are built away from the shipyard and are brought in by the truckload. Thousands of prefabricated staterooms disappear into the ship's interior through temporary openings in the hull. As each stateroom comes fully equipped with all the ducts and wires in place, all that's needed is to hook them up and they are good to go. It's hard to believe that this place will soon be the center of the ship's operations. Right now, it's just a mess, a tangle of cables and connectors. The bridge is the ship's brain because all the functions are controlled from this place. Like nerves in the human body, 3,300 miles of cables are pulled from the very aft of the ship to the bridge, through all the decks, from top to bottom, and from almost every piece of machinery on board. Enough cable to stretch across North America. The ship's propulsion units are electrical motors known as azipods, and they are true powerhouses. When Captain Bill Wright sees them mounted under the ship, he knows they spell power. It's clear this is another first in maritime history. The ship has three so-called azipods, no rudder and no regular propeller shaft. Each one of these huge propellers can rotate 360 degrees, providing me as the captain and the ship handler with a remarkable level of precision in maneuvering the ship. These propellers are works of art in themselves polished to a high degree to make sure that we're getting the absolute best efficiency out of them. Unlike on most other ships, the propellers pull the ship forward when sailing, allowing an undisturbed flow of water to reach the blades first, thus increasing the propeller's capacity and the ship's fuel efficiency. It's time to put the crowning piece in place. The funnels are huge, and again, it's up to the crane operator to skillfully and carefully maneuver the piece into its pre-designed place. From this angle, it's hard to see that the funnel block includes one of the most important innovations on board the ship. And the inventors, Timo Lehtinen and Risto Rantanen are sure their invention will work. Strange thing, a retractable funnel or smokestack on a ship. They tried different ideas just to get under the Great Belt Bridge in Denmark once. Yes, only once will this ship pass the bridge which is blocking her way. And it still warrants the multi-million dollar investment. Of course, we strongly believe that it works fine. We don't need luck, we, have, we are so good designers. Only the future will tell us if the inventors are right. If they are wrong, it could become a very costly mistake. <laughs>